very exciting. Yes, yeah. it is. All right, more rain, more wind. Uh, what's what's on tap for today? Dry. Okay, okay, so we're done with and the rain and the wind today. Uh, well, it's still a little bit. There's still a few showers up around Bellingham and that area, but in terms of steady pounding rain sort of thing, a little bright. Right. Not today. Yeah. yeah. Actually, okay. yesterday, it depended on whether you were in the rain shadow or not. We had like 12 hundredths of an inch at SeaTac over an inch of rain in Bellingham. It's wow. such, so, it's been so brutal for Whatcom and Skagit County. Yeah, it's just, just well, the, yeah, the atmospheric rivers have been just aimed up yeah. into southern BC, northern Washington. That's where it's been sitting for like two weeks, three weeks, something mm -hmm. like that. So it's tough, but it is, it's gonna dry out today. We get a little bit of rain tonight, and then it looks like we might have like 36 hours without any rain. There is something to put, hang your hat on. <laughs> so weather-wise this morning, we basically have clouds just about everywhere, maybe a little bit of patchy fog in a few places, but overall a pretty quiet morning it looks like. And you can see checking out uh, the area there around uh, Olympia, also looking pretty good. And just those few showers up to the north, it looks like. Oh, my computer seems to be taking a little bit of a break there. Hmm. Hold on just a moment while I go take a look at that. In any event, we are going to be looking for the uh, clouds to start uh, thickening back up again this afternoon. We do have a weak front that's going to be moving down from the north, and that is going to give us a quick hit of rain, it looks like, overnight tonight. But amounts are going to be pretty uh, pretty slim, it looks like. Okay, let's see. We'll jump start the machine. There we go. Okay, I just restarted it. That looks much better. You can see the rain up there towards the Canadian border, and that's uh, pretty much where it's going to stay through the day today before that does start to move down to the south. You can see uh, Everett Tower Cam, no raindrops on the camera lens, and then it is a little breezy in spots north of Seattle, but nothing serious this morning. Temperatures mild again today, low to mid 50s up and down the south. They're going to move up a few degrees from there, but that's going to be about it, it looks like. And checking the flooding situation, still have flood warnings out for the Nooksack and the Skagit. The rain that we got uh, yesterday has slow their recession and they're going to start to come back up a little bit. They should stay within about a foot or so of uh, flood stage. So it's going to be basically uh, mostly just minor flooding with this, fortunately, but the ongoing flooding, all these areas that are still pretty wet. And you can see on the satellite image that atmospheric river Shouting up there towards uh, British Columbia, it's really soaking them down today. That's going to weaken and then drop through here as a cold front overnight tonight. So for today, it's just as showers around mainly up to the north of Everett. We'll look for rain moving in as we head towards the evening. But again, it's not real wet. It's going to zip through pretty quickly. A few morning showers tomorrow, then clearing out to sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Filter sunshine on Friday through some high clouds. Cooler Friday, temperatures in the mid-40s and overnight lows in the 30s. So we head into Saturday, we'll look for rain to move in. That's going to turn to showers. Again, not as bad as uh, what we've seen recently. It's not an atmospheric river. Looks like we'll be dry during the day Sunday. Then rain moves in Sunday night. A pretty good round of rain Sunday night into Monday, though not quite as high with the snow levels. Partly sunny, just a few showers on Tuesday. And temperatures dropping back to normal finally, which should be in the mid to upper 40s.